Hello there, thank you for joining me. Jean back with another Mars RIs Epic looking at megalithic blocks with knobs possibly manufactured on Mars. I discovered a massive terrain on Mars littered with what looked like these megalithic blocks with strange knobs on them and uh, due to the vast number I speculate that this might have been an area where they were manufacturing these blocks otherwise uh, just remains of destroyed ancient buildings or structures so I think what we'll do is uh, have a look at some of these megaliths with knobs found on earth this uh, is a photograph taken of the lost megalithic city of the Inca and uh, you'll notice these uh, strange knobs on the surface then uh, these knobs at Casco Peru check out these uh, strange knobs on these megaliths and then uh, in a pyramid found in Egypt check out those knobs over here so what do researchers say about these uh, megaliths with knobs found on earth some speculate um, that some type of concrete molding process was used and uh, the point at which you see those knobs is where they poured the concrete into the mold while others uh, say that some type of uh, rock softening or melting process was used and uh, those knobs are the points at which the energy beam was applied or the beam that melted or softened the rock while others speculate uh, that those are points where the megaliths were broken off a larger piece from which they were manufactured others speculate that uh, ropes could have been attached to those points assisting in the uh, pulling up of the blocks into place while others speculate that those uh, knobs were used in aligning the joints so this is the high-rise photograph we'll be analyzing and uh, it was taken on the 17th of December 2007 I'll include the link below uh, 25 centimeters per pixel so really high-res image this I downloaded the JP2 black and white map projected file just under 1.3 gigabytes but well worth it this image is really detailed so there's uh, the low res photograph of um, that area and uh, yeah, we start with the first one right there in the center another one there to the left we've got uh, another one of those megalithic type blocks with those funny knobs on it there it is zoomed in and if you look at the scale I've included for you um, these are roughly between 10 and 15 meters across so relatively large if you compare the sizes uh, to those found on earth so more of them in this photograph I'm looking at uh, just the more interesting ones that I've found there's many more littered throughout this JP2 so if you do get a chance download it and check it out in high view look at the uh, these blocks these uh, funny knobs on them that one's right there in the center some speculate that um, the knobs on the megaliths on earth if they are towards the edge of a block then uh, that's the point at which the softening rock softening technology was applied to soften the rocks at the point where two will join next to one another 
the ones, uh, the knobs in the center are more indicative of uh, a constant shape that is required where uh, metal sheets we use to possibly mold those uh, megaliths and that was the point at which the technology was applied. So more of these are scattered throughout the image. I'm looking at these over here. So check out the really flat surfaces, well-defined edges, and then these uh, uniform so-called knobs. More of them over here, looking at that one there. This one's a sort of a rectangular shape. More dome-like features, or knobs. I'm looking at these over here, guys. We have even got some uh, triangular knobs, oblong oval type of features. Oh, these are here. That there also looks rather odd and out of place. Could that have been uh, one of those metal plates or sheets that was used in the molding process? Even that there looks like a metal plate. Get that uh, really oblong oval feature there. I mean, smaller little squares with little domes on top over there on that one. Check out the vast number of these over here in this image. So I'm just looking at that one up there up close. Really flat, well-defined edges and then uh, that knob right there in the center. Uh, more of these, yeah, check out these, uh, the three knobs, each uh, e equal size and equally spaced, over here as well, got another three in a line, uh, check out that out guys, same size, equally spaced, really unnatural looking. Then over here, some more triangular pieces with a round feature on the top and there's a smaller one to the side. It's almost shaped like a hexagon. Also right in the center of that block. So if these are natural, how on earth do these things form so that these uh, knobs are right in the center of all of these that we're looking at? Are these perhaps uh, intelligently made and designed? Check out that piece there. Looks like um, metal. Could that be another mold perhaps? We've got a nice triangular piece, straight edges, flat side, little oval dome on the top. There's another one with a little dome on top. Now we have found a really strange flat looking piece. Um, looks as if it's if it's uh, the thickness of this block. It's constant throughout, nice flat sides, edges, 90 degree angles. Check out these, yeah? Multiple little features on top of these two. Even over there. Check this out. Got like layering going on in this one. More 
of these scattered throughout this area check out that piece here yeah? and that one towards the top looks almost like bent metal plate check out these uh, two megaliths over there little dome like features or knobs on the top more right here in the center this one looks really strange look at this area yeah it looks almost as if it has an impression in it possibly softened uh, too much that sort of was squeezed out not sure and then uh, that oblong dome or knob on the top and then uh, this item over here looks really strange too like multiple layers could that be uh, part of a machine or some type of technology it looks very metallic more of these uh, little domes top of these blocks right in the center on this one here let's check that out must be hundreds of these things in this uh, high rise photograph this looks almost like a more metal plate I'm not sure it looks as if it might have been uh, ripped from another piece look at that serrated edge multiple little features on the top Check another disc like object with a little dome in the center check this out yeah this narrow rectangular piece two little features on the top other one there other one there in the left corner there as well a little dome knob like feature multiple pieces scattered throughout yeah look at that piece there not your typical boulders or rocks really flat sides these uh, smaller dome oval like features of them right here some more over there some more over there as well check that out you got a triangle with a little dome like feature in every corner rectangular piece little dome or circular feature there in the center there's another triangular piece with a little dome in it there two smaller ones there and that piece check out that triangular part there more of these uh, small little domes multiple features on those two objects there over there as well uh, check that out that looks like some type of technology also multiple layering metallic looking got that part a little dome right in the center another one yeah another feature over there right in the center of that part and this looks like a part of a structure a really shiny piece with some layering going on in that as well the 90 degree angles in that piece and 
Yeah. Here's another piece of uh, building or structure perhaps. Check out that circular part that's been cut into that face. More objects with more little knobs on them. Check out that piece over there. It's located in the center of the screen. It looks like another piece of uh, technology. Multiple layering going on in that piece as well. Check out that uh, rhombic shape on the top there. Really straight edges. Flat side. Looks almost as if this piece is bent, totally destroyed. So, could this be a site where they were manufacturing these objects? Or was this possibly multiple structures that uh, was destroyed? And then these parts were scattered all over the place. Look at that one there. Two little square features in the center. There's another disc-like shape there with a little dome on it. That object over there looked rather odd as well. It looks almost if it could be a dome-like shape three little domes on it, little knobs, check out these here, yeah. another disc, another disc there, third one there, little knobs on them, nicely in the centers, that one there, this piece there, I wasn't quite sure what to make of that either, could that be part of a, a structure? Look at the delicate lines in this piece. Multiple parallel lines, 90 degree angles. And then check at the geometry in this piece. Could that be, uh, could that have been part of uh, one massive piece perhaps, I don't know. Check out those there, more megalithic type objects with little features or knobs on them. Over there as well. Check out that piece there. Almost metallic looking, sort of metal plate type of object, all the little features on that part there, towards the right. Another one of those objects with uh, four little domes in a row, equally sized and spaced. But I saw something else there. It looks like a piece where the, that's either been bent or that could be a rectangular part of it, not sure. Check that out. So, how do we explain these if they are natural occurring? I think the odds are in favor that these are artificial. Check out these uh, parts over here. Also looks like technology, very metallic looking. Check out this piece on the top here. Multiple layering going on in that. Small little features there. I'm not sure guys, could this be part of the molding machinery that was used. More metallic looking plates and things over here.
So check out the other objects in this spot. Got like a V shape on top of that uh, rounded piece there. Another little dome knob like feature on that part. And then uh, multiple little parts to these. Check that out. Could that be another piece of technology, perhaps? Look at those uh, triangular bits there. Another one of those uh, really shiny parts. With another little triangular knob in the center. You got these straight sides. 90 degree angle there. Another one of those uh, disc like objects. Check out these down here. Covered in little features. Look at that. Got three in a row there and three in a row there. Two parallel lines of those smaller dome like parts. Check out the little domes on these. Put that uh, round part there. Another very flattened dome part with uh, intricate little features on the top. It looks almost as if this is another piece of uh, technology, maybe top of a machine. to look at these parts yeah so maybe pieces of a destroyed wrecked machine that uh, smaller triangular piece there it's very metallic and then uh, this narrow piece with these rounded corners or edges with those two smaller features on top. One in the center of each of those uh, sides. This so looks like part of a uh, structure, possibly part of a wall. Look how that's been uh, carved into the surface of that piece. More uh, objects with little features on them to the top right. Another one of those strange looking parts, almost metallic looking. Check out that there as well. Another disc, a little dome like feature in the center. More sort of technology type parts there. Yeah, check that out. Another one of those little out of place, sort of disc like objects with a smaller dome in the center. Another disc like object with a little dome in the center. Here's another one. Check that out there. Another one of them there in the center. Check that out, look at this 
nicely rounded edge gosh it looks really artificial guys not sure how to classify this multiple layering looks like metallic parts it's definitely standing off the surface look at the shadow it casts another piece of uh, machine or tech A hexagonal part there another disc like object with a little dome in the center rectangular piece with a little dome in the center uh, check that out small little knob right there in the center this looks like it's also being sort of carved or worked so more little knobs in the center of those two objects check that out a very straight well defined edge there so another disc like object a little pyramid knob over there So this is also a really strange looking object. Look at that part on top. This looks like some type of technology for sure. Look at that really straight edge over there. A little dome like feature to it there. More metallic parts over here. Well they appear to be metallic can't say for sure though more of those uh, <laughs> I can't believe how many they are this is unreal check that out there these things are speaking for themselves check out those uh, two spheres on that object and look perfectly round almost okay now zoomed in but look at that equally sized straight edge over here as well 90 degree angle there looks like another piece of metal plate being bent some type of wreckage perhaps, I don't know part of the manufacturing process check out these over here oh my, more there there multiple pieces on that one uh, check that out another little feature right in the center multiple layering in that part and that part there even there Guys, please let me know what you make of these in the comments below. I'll appreciate that. Do you think um, these are just natural boulders and rocks? And uh, these small little dome-like, knob-like features in the center are just there by coincidence? What do you think this is there by intelligent design? Check at that piece looks really 
artificially made as well. Straight edge, 90 degree angles. It's almost uh, got geometry and symmetry in that part. And then uh, that part there, what intrigued me was this hollowed up part at this side and that side. Almost could be symmetrical as well. More of these parts covered in multiple smaller features. So that reminds me of um, another video I did a while ago an archaeologist's uh, treasure trove on Mars. This is the high-rise photograph. I'll include the link as well. Also very high-res, 25 centimeters per pixel. 1.3 gigabytes for the JP2. So that's the area there, the low-res JPEG. And I'm just going to show you one or two from that video I did. So I'll include the link to that in the description as well. So these little objects are also about 10 to 15 meters across. Check out that one there. Like the circular uh, object, the little dome in the center. Rectangular object with a little oblong oval knob in the center. Another one of these almost disc like objects, a little dome in the center. So those were just a couple from that video. So let's quickly hop over to Google Earth Mars, show you where these sites are. The first area we looked at is right here in Pi Crater. And let's just turn on the CTX mosaic. So, the high rise photograph we looked at is over there, guys. And then uh, the second site I showed you towards the end of this video. Is right here. And the high rise we looked at is that one there. So two sites vastly separated by distance that include the same sort of megalithic type objects with little knobs or domes or features on them so let's quickly measure the distance right 8531 kilometers apart So I don't think that uh, objects over there that we looked at were just sort of coincidentally blown or flowed with water to that side there. That's far too uh, vast a distance. So check that out. And uh, these other lines if you guys have watched my videos, those are the so-called ley lines Saturn Arc and I have been working on. If you haven't checked out those videos yet, please do so. And uh, then you'll find out what these ley lines are all about. So let's quickly hop over to my blog. 
Let's give it a chance to load. There we go. So the objects, the megalithic blocks with knobs, possibly manufactured on Mars. This is the blog post. Yeah, I'll include the link below. And as always, uh, you can click on the smaller images and um, you'll be downloading the one-to-one -one scale cropped image from the JP2. I'll just give it a sec to load. There we go. So if you measure that in pixels on the larger images, you can use the scale that NASA gives with the JP2 and you'll, you can calculate the size. So it's about 10 meters across. And um, then the archaeologist's treasure trove. This is the blog post here. Yeah, I'll include the link below as well. And as always, guys, you can uh, always come to my blog if you're using a mobile or a cell phone or a smartphone to check out these uh, images up close. The uh, blog is fully responsive, as you can see, so in landscape mode. Those images will uh, nicely fit on your screen, so you can see them up close. So I think that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, now the question is, uh, might there be an ancient link connecting our ancestors uh, to Mars? Because very similar type of uh, artifacts are being found there. So then again, who knows? Please comment below. I look forward to reading uh, your, your guys' take on this video. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.